Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from spirit reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. So let's see what we have for you. We have Inspire Passion, that is your first message. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is a time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. That is your first message. So what else do we have for Aquarius? I'm going to pull from the Archangel Michael deck. So let's see what we have for you. Message for Aquarius, please, Angel Spirits Guides. November 2022. Thank you. We have number 33. This is a blessing in disguise. Be patient and have faith that your angels have this situation under control. What will come is far better than you dared dream. That's lovely. And let's pull a destiny card for you. So what do we have for our lovely Aquarians, please? Angel Spirits Guides message. For our lovely Aquarians, thank you. Okay, thank you. So, I have stand still. And let's see what spirit animal message we get for you. So what is a spirit animal for Aquarius? For November 2022, thank you. Message for Aquarius, Angel Spirits Guides, November 2022. We have Polar Bear. Stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to outcome. So let's pull some cards and see what we have for you. What is the message from the Spirit for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message from Spirit for Aquarius, thank you. We have Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, not limited to that. This is a very good leader, somebody who is uh, very independent, very courageous, confident, go-getting, driven, action-orientated, male or female. We have the Five of Pentacles. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Seven of Wands. So this is a feeling of destiny at play here, Aquarius, and it feels it affected your money areas. Uh, the the five of pentacles can actually be about loss, uh, financial loss, not having enough. We have, uh, you know, the beggar and the leper there, the people who feel that they're outcast and, you know, beg for help, assistance and so on and so forth. This feels like a situation left you financially challenged or one person was financially challenged this feels either you or somebody may be close to you but things are about to turn around for you this is a significant turning point because the wheel of fortune represents change why because spirit knows how how much you have persevered on a path with the seven of wands even though somebody this is somebody who stands their ground to defend and protect what's important to them. Could be your home, your property, people you care for. So this is an energy here of somebody who absolutely stands their ground and perseveres on a path, does not give up. And there's a kind of applauding energy with this because you may have felt that things were at a standstill and things were just not budging within that energy. However, you can see on the card that this person is on higher ground. They have the, the wand on higher ground. 
then those that that which oppose them whether it's a situation person people places this can also represent competition as well so even if you've been competing for something this is you're getting head and shoulders above others there's a feeling here of things are turning around for you the wheel of fortune always turns in our favor though it doesn't always feel like that it's a card of destiny divine timing and orchestration good luck good fortune and look being divinely orchestrated in reality so there may well be uh, it, it feels like for some of you a fortunate series of circumstances where you're defending and pushing and pushing and pushing and then all of a sudden those obstacles are removed and there's this feeling of just plain sailing towards an end result and that's what I'm getting here Aquarius quite strongly there's a, just a feeling here of, of this person coming in and it feels like they're influential in changing your fortunes so I'm going to pull let's pull an extra card Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius, please. Thank you. Yeah, the Three of Cups. <laughs> three of Cups is a card of celebration, joy, happiness. The winter is over, the spring is here. It represents new bounty as well. This is a lovely energy here. This is celebration, reasons to celebrate. So let's get a card with the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Yeah, she's bringing in your wish, the Nine of Cups. Nine of, I mean, this is a lovely energy. Nine of Cups is getting what you want from this person. It's a wish coming true. It's really just feel like whatever happened, whatever made you feel like this, because this, this can be an energy where we feel lack, not just practically, but we feel lack in, in our energy. Um... We feel, you know, pushed out. We feel, we feel down. We feel begrudging, you know. Why are you okay and I'm not, you know. This is the energy of the Five of Pentacles. So just keep that energy in check because it is linked to Law of Attraction here, Aquarius. What we put out to the universe and vocalize is what comes back to us. So as difficult as that is, because the Five of Pentacles is not an easy energy, try and maintain that try and be as, as constructive and positive in dealing with this energy as possible because it really is linked to the law of attraction and there is a feeling of spirit bringing you in celebration and good luck it's a lovely energy the nine of cups is getting what you want and it is actually quite an abundant energy a lot of jupiterian energy in here which is a really nice energy here aquarius of of good fortune good luck things turning in our turning in our favor very very beneficial energy for you so i'm going to pull you so do what you're doing spirit is telling you do what you're doing you're going to get to the end result here things will all of a sudden shift and it might well be you even encounter that fortuitous set of circumstances where things just obstacles just fizzle out and things start turning faster and faster and better and better okay we have one 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 so that number might mean something to you in november pay attention to your mind and what you are focusing on think only what positive reality you want to see as it will manifest that's what i was talking about And a real feeling here of sometimes things happen that we're not happy with, but it's to, to encounter and explore somebody who may be bringing in an opportunity to you that where you'll be really happy, that you'll be really happy with, where you'll get your wish, where you feel bountiful, where you feel fulfilled, where you feel really happy. You know, that's the energy here. It's a real turnaround.
we have look at the clouds to see the answer you seek from your angels. And with that polar bear energy, this is a card of standing up for yourself, which it says that speak your truth respectfully and compassionately uh, and with no attachment to the outcome because you can't control this outcome. There is a feeling of divine orchestration linked with it. So this is just go with the flow. I think the, the events will unfold naturally for you. We have... We support you as you cleanse and clear both inside and out. Talk to us, we are listening, number 10. That was number 34. Aquarius, it's a lovely reading. The cards that have come out, it really does show some kind of turnaround here. And you might not see it now, but this was a blessing. So there's a feeling of whatever what you've experienced in terms of standstill, things are going to start shifting almost kind of like automatically um, and there's there's a real feeling here of, of change so that's what I have for you I hope you enjoyed your reading found it helpful useful if you did please do like share and subscribe I wish you a lovely month of November I will see you next time